In this demo, we'll show you how product and security teams can analyze scan results to address new CVEs found in open source components or view whether a project has exposure to unpatched CVEs. Let's start with the summary tab of the Black Duck dashboard. Here we can see the blocking and critical policy violations, the distribution of project security risk, the distribution of components and their associated security risk, and which components pose the greatest security risk. Scrolling down, we can see critical metrics related to remediation of SCA risk, such as the number of new vulnerable components in the past week, as well as how policy violations are distributed over the various development phases. Let's shift over to the project list and focus once again on the insecure bank. Let's focus on the security tab. Here we see a breakdown of the security risks and a listing of components. If we filter on critical risks, the list of components is reduced to only those containing a critical vulnerability. Since a product security team is likely to want to triage this list, let's look at some of the workflow they might use. For this, let's look at one of the vulnerabilities in Log4j 1.2.17. The first entry is critical and is a zero-click RCE. It has an exploit and a workaround. Let's expand this entry. We can see a summary description of the issue and its base score metrics. There is also a remediation workflow. Since we want the team to look into this issue, let's flag it for review, set a target date, add a comment, and click Update. Note that the status is now Needs Review. In a few simple steps, we were able to surface, understand, and prioritize our Black Duck findings and almost just as quickly launch a remediation plan into action. To learn more about how to stay ahead of managing open source risk, visit blackduck.com slash SCA.